Welcome back to my kitchen. You guys, believe it or not, we're not doing a pound cake today. Today is Mother's Day. Today is Mother's Day. And although I don't have to cook dinner today, I wanted my family to do something very simple for me as it pertains to what I wanted for dinner. But I wanted to do this favorite dessert of mine in memory of my mom. My mom used to do this strawberry pie on, oftentimes on Sundays and I look so forward to getting out of church coming home having dinner and then eating my mom's wonderful strawberry pie so it is so so simple you guys my mom kept it simple and that's one thing I loved about her cooking is that she did things so simple and they were just simply delicious okay so we're going to start by using two of these pie crusts these are the Pillsbury pie crusts they are wonderful my mom used these for quite some time if you want to make your own pie crust by all means feel free to do so but again this is simple and easy and then we're going to use some salted butter of course we have some sugar here and I'll kind of add more as I go along because of course I'm not used to measuring at least with pies and maybe some of the other things that I fix so in an effort to try to give you guys some measurements I'm trying to do some measurements as I go along and then if I need to add to it it kind of gives me a basis and then if I have to add to it you kind of have an idea of what I've done okay and then also we're going to use a little bit of flour that's going to create a thickening um, for the strawberry pie. Now she didn't use cornstarch. My mom used flour. And I love our pies. We would like our pies not too, um, too dry, if you will. We still wanted a little runniness to our pies. But because of the flour, it gives it, um, I don't want to say gooey. I don't want to use the word gooey, but you know sometimes when you have dumplings, you can tell it's that that bread with the butter and the sugar. Look, that's what we like, okay? So, again, um, I'm going to try to give you guys some measurements. If you need to, um, please adjust the sugar as you guys like. You may not like it as sweet as me. I'm just telling you right now. But if not, then just use less sugar. My mom didn't use any cinnamon. She did not use any nutmeg, no flavorings. We just did the strawberries, the sugar, the crust, the butter. And again, it was very simple. So, of course, we need strawberries. So here, um, I have three pounds of fresh strawberries that were cleaned and cut they were washed and cut yesterday by my sweet husband so what he did he washed up these strawberries he got them cut up for me you guys that's my oven it's preheated to 350 degrees but he got the strawberries cut up for me yesterday and then i just put them in the mixing bowl and i want you to notice that once i add them um, i'm going to add two cups of sugar so I've added two cups of sugar. I'm mixing them up really well. But I also want you to notice that once I'm finished mixing, you see how dry the strawberries still look. Okay? So we've not added any additional water, but they are really dry. Okay? So then, here we are today. I've just taken these strawberries out of uh, the refrigerator. And they've been sitting out now for maybe about an hour. But you see how much juice that they have created on their own. So this is straight strawberries and strawberry juice and sugar. Right? I love it. I love it. So again, I'm sure I will need to add a little more sugar. If you don't want that much sugar, then please make the necessary adjustment. Okay, and of course I have thoroughly washed my hands. Y'all don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because y'all know it still is nasty so I'm just gonna roll out this dough a little bit because we like to have the crust on the bottom and the top and I have my casserole dish here that I've already sprayed with some whoop, some little non-stick olive oil spray 
So I'm wanting to get the crust. I'm putting it there so I can kind of see how far out I need to roll it. But I'm wanting to get the crust as long as my casserole dish. And again, we like crust on the top and the bottom. Okay. And I do like that flour on it because it's going to help help the juices thicken, thicken up. Okay, now we're just going to lay that inside our dish. Try not to tear the crust. And I like having this casserole dish that's deep enough because, again, we don't like a dry pie. And I like to be able to leave enough juice in it to where it doesn't, um, it's not dry. So make sure your dish is deep enough because, honey, this strawberry pie juice will run over and you will have a mess in your oven. Okay. All right. So now that that's done, dish here. Oh, In goes the strawberries. Mm -hmm. And all of its juice. All of it. Spread it out some. See how runny that is. Now we're going to take our butter and we're just going to cut some over the top. I think I'm going to just use a half a stick now this is so easy so easy peasy I love it when it's simple And again, like I said, I want a little more sugar. If you don't want this much, don't add it. So I started with the two cups. This is about a third cup more. Plus a little more. have this is about one fourth cup of all-purpose flour again I'm trying to give you guys measurements my mom just sprinkled it over she just sprinkled it over the top you guys that is all she did and I don't think I'm gonna use there is that doorbell again I mean what in the world anywho Oh, it was open. Was it locked? No. Oh, that's my baby coming in. Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle that over the top. Um, so I didn't add quite all of that 
all of that flour. Okay? And then from there, we're going to take this top crust and we're going to add it over the top. Let me see. Ooh, that's going to be good. We just add it over the top. Just like that. We're going to press it down. I do love all of those juices running on the top of it. Okay? And then I'm just going to take my life. My life. Lord, not my life. Don't take my life, Jesus. Take your life. <laughs> Y'all, my dude number one just came in. I'm going to take my knife and just bend it on the top. That's what we're doing, y'all. We're just going to bend it. And you look sad, buddy. <laughs> and then we're just going to put just a little bit more. I thought I was going to get this done before they got here, y'all. That had me driving all around the world. Did he? What are we doing? This is just my mommy's strawberry pie. Can I taste it? Not right now. You're going to taste great. it when it's done. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Let me get some butter to put on the top of it. So now I'm just gonna put a few little pats of butter. This is not salted. This is just regular butter on the top. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna put dude number one out. Yeah, see how I be so quiet. Before he get in the house. So that's all we're doing, guys. And we're going to stick this in the oven. Again, it's on 350 degrees. He's sitting back there trying to whisper. Don't hurt me. I was minding my own business. He home, y'all. Okay. 350. We are going in the oven. No cinnamon, no none of that. We ain't do that, y'all. If you want cinnamon, by all means, help yourself. But that's not how my mama did it. So I don't need y'all to say, well, add this and add that. And all I said, this is how my mama did it, okay? But really, if you guys want to add that, some people do lemon juice and help yourself. But I'm doing it like my mama did it, okay? So right now, I'm going to set it for about 45 minutes. I don't know, I don't know how long this is going to bake, okay? So, we're going to let it bake for about 45 minutes. Ooh, all right, you guys. It's been at least an hour later. So, now we are out. We have to cool. And in the meantime, I'm going to try to clean up around the edge of the casserole dish. Okay? <laughs> so, we're going to cool for a minute. Quite a minute. A lot of minutes. And then we will come back when it's time to dig in. Strawberry pie with fresh strawberries just like my mom used to make it. It is time. Yeah, we not using a knife day, we using a spoon. Look at this, y'all. As it sets even longer, it's going to thicken up even more. But I can't wait for it to cool off to get what I want. Y'all, I can eat this without him. Let me show you what I was talking about when I talked about how I like the juices to make the, you know, to get, I didn't want to use the word gooey. But y'all see, wait a minute. Y'all see how that looks right there? That's what I love. That right there. Now, I did not let it sit long enough, y'all. It's been 30 minutes. I can't wait. I can't wait. I cannot wait. So, it's going to thicken up even more as it sets up. Hey, y'all, I was so ready. Ooh. Ooh.
y'all. Babe, I'm oh. gonna go ahead and taste this. This is what I remember growing up with. Look at that. Look, y'all. Open your mouth. You see, it's still smoking. Mmm. But when I tell y'all, I just, I couldn't wait an hour or two. I was so ready. And it's Mother's Day, so I can eat it now if I want to. Well, okay. I'm striking against strawberries. Because mm. the price too high. Mm. Simply butter, sugar, flour, and crust. That's it. I'm not a pot eater. That's it. That's what you're going to get some. If I could separate the strawberries from the crust. As much as you love crust? Mm -hmm. I want the crust. I don't want the strawberries. Oh. I'm going to strike against the strawberries. Mm. Y'all. That's it. Oh, let me show you. Now, I can't tilt it so much. You got to get a thumbnail. Because if I do, this juice going to run out. Let's see. Trying to let y'all. Ooh. Can't see it. Look like it's kind of dark. Looks good to me. Okay. Hopefully that'll work. Like I said, I can't tilt it. Honey, move that. Because it will be all in the floor. So, you guys, I just wanted to share that's my mommy's simple strawberry pie recipe. Easy peasy. So, once we let it set for. Um, another couple of hours then like I say it's gonna thicken up just a little bit but I don't want it too thick like I don't want to I want to be able to dig in and some of the the pie filling still kind of runs a little bit I don't want it to dig in and it's just a hunk of pie and nothing I like it loose does that make sense if you don't like it loose like that then just add a little bit more flour and what I added was uh, not quite a fourth of a cup so, what you want? You want some strawberries? So, anywho, I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day. For somebody that didn't want. I'm against, I'm against strawberries. I'm striking. Okay. <laughs> I'm striking against the strawberries, though. For somebody who didn't, who wanted just the crust. Anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the nosy. Hit the nosy. Turn on the notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever we're doing something over here or he's over here doing the most. Again, happy Mother's Day. I hope your day was as wonderful as my day was really good. I've done pretty much nothing today. This is what I've done today. And they're getting ready to feed me in a little bit. So... It's yeah. all good. So thank you guys so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye. We having a drink on. He trying to drink out the straw longer than me.